Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and in this follow along, we're going to be looking at backup solutions for Azure. So let's make our way all the way to the top here and launch ourselves a virtual machine that we are going to be using uh, as a means to backup. So, what I'll do is create a new group here, um, and we will call it Picard, uh, and we'll call this virtual machine Picard. And scrolling on down here, uh, yeah, I want to stick with a Windows Server 2019 Gen 2. So go over here, select it uh, as Generation 2 there. And for the machine, you want to make sure it's a B2S because you need at least a two VPCUs and four gigabytes RAM to launch a Windows uh, Server there. For the user, it's going to be Azure User. For the password, capital T, testing one two three four five six. Capital T, testing one two three four five six. Uh, we'll have RDP. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll end up using it, uh, but if we do, we have that open. We'll go ahead and go to the review page, wait for it to allow us to hit create, give it a moment. Great, we'll hit create. And then we'll give it a moment to see that it is deploying. And if it's deploying, I'll see you back here in a moment. Great, so it looks like our virtual machine is ready to go here. So what we'll do is go all the way to the top here and type in backups. We go to vaults directly, but let's take a look here at the backup center uh, where we can kind of have a, a bit of an overview of stuff. So the idea is we have vaults where we're gonna store our backups. We can create backup jobs, backup policies. So let's get to it and, and first create ourselves a vault. So we'll go ahead here and create ourselves a new vault. And we have two options. We have recovery services vault or a backup vault. So uh, the difference here is that one is just for backing up things like databases, disks, and et cetera, where recovery services is more like a, like a site-wide recovery. So you're gonna notice it includes virtual machines and all these other stuff. Uh, generally, you'll probably want to go with recovery services vault because it is just basically a new version of the backup vault. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, we'll place this in our uh, Picard um, uh, resource group there. And we'll just say Picard backup or vault. <laughs> vault, there we go. And we'll go ahead and hit review and create. And we'll go and hit create there. And we'll just give it a moment there to deploy. All right, so our recovery services vault is ready and we'll go ahead and click backup and down below it'll ask us what kind we are running. So we have Azure stack and on-premise. It's just Azure and we have a virtual machine. So we'll go ahead and hit uh, backup and notice that we'll have to set up a backup policy and here we have a default one, but let's actually go make a new one so we can kind of learn some of the settings that we can set. So we can say the frequency, the time, etc. Probably want to set this to my time zone. So I'm in Toronto, if I can find it here which I believe is negative uh, five. I was trying to type to see if I could do that, but I wasn't uh, getting uh, getting there too well. Um, we'll just say Central Canada there, that's okay. It's off by an hour, but that's close enough. Um, and you can have weekly, monthly, and yearly backups, but we're gonna just stick with the daily backup for 30 days. Um, and this is okay, we don't have to enter that in. We'll hit all right, okay. And now we can add our virtual machine. So we'll go here and select Picard, hit OK, enable backups. Please select at least one that has backups enabled. So what we'll do is open up our Azure tab here, make our way over to our virtual machine, and just make sure that that stuff is enabled. So we'll go over here um, and we'll go to backups. And here we can actually even set it from here. So I guess we'll select our existing vault here. It will say enable backups. But that set it up with a default one, right? So I'm a bit surprised we couldn't do it that way, but we'll make our way back here. As long as it works. <laughs> That's the thing with Azure. It's just, you know, you'll do something and then you'll find that uh, you have to do it slightly different. Uh, but we'll just, we'll just wait until that's done there. So after waiting a very short while, uh, it looks like our backups are turned on. So if we were to go to our overview and go to backups, we can see we have one backed up item. If we go over to our backup items, we'll see under virtual machines, we have the card. Um, we did set the default policy. So I guess if we wanted to switch that out, we probably could if we just go back and let's just go create a policy of our own just so that we are familiar with that there. Um, and we'll say an Azure virtual machine one. So my special policy. Okay, and um, this is for 180 days. We can go ahead and hit create. And once that policy is deployed, we'll be able to associate. I can't remember if this will be super fast, but we'll give it a moment here. Yep, it is super fast. And then once uh, we have that policy, we can go into it and then start assigning things to it. 
I actually, I think when I made the lecture content, I don't even remember there being a backup center. So to me, this is all a little bit new. Um, so maybe I'll go back and up to the slides because I, I usually say there is no centralized service, but they have one now. So um, that's uh, pretty darn good. Um, so for associated items, we don't fetching data for services completed. Um, so I'm just trying to figure out how we can change that policy there. If we go to backups, maybe we can just change it over here. Uh, I'm not sure how to switch out the policy, but I know at least if we want to do a backup now, we just press that there. It's really not that important to know how to swap out a policy. It's just more so the fact that you know what a backup policy is and you can apply it to machines and things like that. Yeah, so there we go. We just uh, had our own backup there. And uh, yeah, there's not much more else here to look at, but uh, yeah, there you go. So that's backup policy. So I guess what we'll do is go ahead and tear all this down. And so that was our book card there. We'll go ahead and delete this resource group. And there you go.